Look at all my little container ants. I kind of have it hidden here. Um, kind of in the shady spot. Usually I have it over in a sunny spot, but we're coming up to heat wave. Or we're in a heat wave, I guess. Um, three days in excess of 100 coming up. And uh, last time they did okay, but they did take a bit of damage. But I uh, had someone ask for an update on kind of like my mail order palms. Uh, palms I got from eBay and uh, Etsy. So I'm going to show you um, my Phoenix Acolis. Definitely got majorly stressed. You can see the dead leaves. The center spear is not looking great. There's no fault of the seller. Um, the palm showed up looking really well, but you know, sometimes these things get stressed out in transport. You don't really know what type of temperatures they get exposed to. This came all the way from Florida. Uh, I'm in Oregon, so it could have got cooked, but we will see. Hopefully it pulls through. Um, Silver Queens. These came from, I think, South Carolina, and they are growing. New spears on both. They have a bit of a pale color, though. This one's a bit better. Um, Kind of thinking maybe they might need something. I might hit them with a little bit of fish fertilizer. And behind them are. Oh no, that's not. That's blue. Yeah. Behind them are the uh, small Phoenix Canariensis. And they're looking good. The one that was looking a little rough um, seems to be recovering. New spear coming out. That one there. So we're doing okay. So I think that's all I ordered. That's the uh, Canary Island date palms. And uh, that's, well, so these are, okay, I guess there's a difference between Silver Queen. These are Cyagris Littoralis, or Cyagris Romanzophia subspecies Littoralis, which is supposed to be a more robust, cold hardy version. This one's looking really good. And, uh, oops, okay, in here. And these are the little phoenixes. So, and they're growing on, actually, their spears have, have uh, the second spears have been pushing out. So, and these, uh, these are the carrier phoenix alfredii that, uh, they got torched a bit in that last heat wave, but growing on well. Um, there's a lot of sables and trachycarpus in here. I may as well just kind of run through. These are regular queens that are, uh, well, I don't know. A couple of them look like they may have petered out, but these are the ones that were exposed to the ice stuff and survived. Uh, more sables, some non palms. Um, that is a tequila to be planted, and that is. Um, Trithrinax that needs to be planted, but I'm gonna save that and then over here is just a mess of some regular trachycarpus and Down here are some of my seed grown blue Jubea chalensis Which are not blue yet, but should appear blue with time um, And these are sable lisas so sable palmetto lisa, which is a odd looking um, kind of uh, morph, mutant, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, those are just regular trackies. So that is the update on the mail order palms. Most are looking good with the exception of my little phoenix. Hopefully she makes it.